Welcome to this week's episode of Being Human. I'm delighted to say I'm here with Andrew Genovese. He's a dimensional breathwork teacher and facilitator. He's a sacred space holder. He's a plant medicine guide, and he's an ambassador for ASEA uh, Redox, which I'm, I'm sure we'll get into for those who haven't heard of that. Uh, but I've been reading a great deal about your work, Andrew. I'm, as we said before the call, I have personally got a big interest in breath work. I've never gone down that path seriously. I know a lot of people have, a lot of people who I know and in my network have a, a, a big interest in this topic of breath work. So I'm so excited to hear from somebody who has well devoted a big chunk of your life, as I understand it, to to the practice of breath work and and to hear about how it works, what its benefits are. So huge welcome to the show, Andrew. I appreciate you, Richard. Yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to share my wisdom of breath and redox, two things that literally go hand in hand. And yeah, I mean, breath is our foundation. <laughs> it's uh, there. There is no life without our breath. So it, uh, it's pretty incredible that the majority of our planet the majority of our population walking around doesn't even have any awareness of their breath throughout the entire duration of their life. And um, it's playing a massive role in helping us remember who we are once again. So yeah, may may this plant a seed for whoever catches this conversation. Maybe yeah. if they've never done it before, they begin to Yeah. Awesome. Yes, because cause my cause I because I've been doing yoga as a as a as a sort of part-time experience and I kind of go in and out of doing yoga seriously. Uh, and I've, I've got a few pre- breathing te- techniques I'll use, but, but my understanding of where you've kind of got to with breath is, you know, is a significantly you know, d- deeper level. I wonder if you could fill in the audience of your background, how you got introduced to the topic and, you know, ha- how you've kind of evolved your practice around it. Yeah. Well, just to give a little backstory briefly <laughs> without, without going down a deep rabbit hole, because I could go, yeah, super deep on my story. But uh, at, basically, uh, I spent most of my 20s traveling the world, and I was living out of a backpack for many, many years. And I was uh, all over you know, South America, and Central America, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, Europe. And um, I just loved traveling. I loved seeing the world, and I, I loved the adventure of I was just showing up at a place and having no plan, no idea where I was going to be led next. So I was literally the cowboy archetype of just trying to figure out, you know, what I was going to do, where I was going to go, who I was. Mm. I didn't know that at the time, but that's really what I was doing. I I was searching for the next place, but in actuality, I was searching for me. Yeah. And um, yeah, the, through coming back to my travels, you know, with going to lots of just deep, deep, deep anxiety, depression. And uh, just wanting to just know, what, you know, what was my 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 role here? What was my mission? And it wasn't until the, the the flickers of awakening for me were in 2012. And every year since 2012, I had more awareness of, you know, the corruption that was taking place on the planet, and that our healthcare system was a total joke, <laughs> and that you had millions of doctors walking around the world that had no idea how to help someone with their health. And, um, so I started studying a lot about herbalism and nutrition, you know, starting in like 2013, 14, 15 and onwards. And it wasn't until 2018 till my entire world was just absolutely rocked (laughs) and uh, my entire life just fell apart. Um, I had no money. I was living with my aunt in New York city. Um, I had got a, I had gotten a job as a bartender (laughs) at that time just to survive. And as soon as I got that job, my entire, my health fell apart. My, I started getting this really intense pain, both my arms. And, you know, the only thing I thought was just like, what is happening to me? Like, this right. is so bizarre. I've never heard of any of this happening to anyone. So, you know, my mind's going in all the different kinds of ways. Do I have some rare kind of disease? Is it really like, am I dying? Because <laughs> I couldn't even really grab like a glass of water. And oh, the, wow. the, yeah, the the pain would just shoot down my wrists and it was like, it was like electricity bolts just, but it was very, it was very painful. And so I, uh, you know, my mom, of course, naturally she begged me to go the Western route and I was like, mom, 
There's nothing that a Western doctor can t- tell me. There's nothing that they can help me with. The only thing that they can do is is prescribe me pain pills. And she's like, well, just go, you know, just check it out, to see what happens. And so I humored her and I, you know, I spent many, many, many hours looking for answers. Uh, as I expected, I didn't get any. And, right. and all I got was doctors prescribing me pain pills. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it wasn't until about six weeks into that of some going through a <clears throat> very intense time, total just dark night of the soul um, or bright night of the soul, as I refer to it sometimes, because it truly yeah. was the bright night of my soul. Uh, but yeah, it was a very intense time doing 10, 12, 15 mile walks around the city every day, just pondering life and my yeah. existence. And and in that time, I something started to awaken within me as I started to just wonder like why we were here. <laughs> and when I got onto the subways and the trains and I just looked at all the people falling asleep on each other's shoulders, I remember thinking, look at all these people. They're so disconnected and miserable and anxious and unhappy and mm. we're not meant to be living like this and uh shortly i remember shortly after that train ride i i, I was sitting on the edge of my bed and um <laughs> i'm guessing it was a voice my guardian angels my guides uh telling me to breathe telling me to start to breathe and so I, every single day from that moment, the first day I ever did breath work, I just sat on the edge of my bed with my palms in my lap and I just started going. And that first time I did breath work for maybe 10 minutes and my whole body started to just swirl in a circle. And I was like, what is happening? It's not like, like what, what, what is my body doing right now? And the only thing I could come up with was that it was, it was something good was happening. That's all right. I knew at the time. Something good was happening <laughs> um, because I felt very calm and I and I felt very just at peace. And so every day after that, I just continued to do it 10, 15 minutes. I, I did it once a day, 10, 15 minutes. And I'm guessing at this point you didn't know like you were doing like quote breath work. It was just something you sort of fell into, right? And yeah, totally. Uh, I did. I, I quickly started to research, like, okay. okay, I'm breathing, I'm doing meditation. And um, I had never heard of breath work uh, before that. So before that, I was really just studying, I was really just studying pretty much nutrition and, and, mm. and herbs and stuff like that. I hadn't really tapped into this realm of spirituality and consciousness yet. So yeah, I started just doing research and listening to videos about breath work. And I was like, wow, okay. And then I started understanding, okay, I'm moving trapped emotions. I'm moving energy and I'm tapping into my own power. And I, and as I, and as, as I started to do it and gain my own experience, I started to understand that the deeper consciousness aspect of it as the weeks and months went on. So fast forward from July, August, September, October, um, what I had going on had reduced dramatically and I left New York city, um, after living in Central America, by the way, which I didn't leave out because there's many pieces to the story, yeah. but I was living in Nicaragua at the time, running my own business, and I was led to New York. Uh, I left New York and I moved back to California, to Los Angeles, where I'm from, uh, to Orange County specifically, and um, yeah, it was there where I did where I fully recovered, and uh, all the inflammation, all the extremely deep trauma and inflammation that come to the surface, had totally went away and. You know, once we got into November, December, uh, into December around Christmas time, New Year's. I'm had, sorry. And when did you start again the breath work? Remind me. I started. I started doing the breath work around July. So okay. July, so in about six months. Yeah. Yeah. So it was around. It was July, August, September, and October. I really started to feel almost everything had gone away at that point, but I had done the the last bit of my just healing through. Just cleansing, detoxing, fasting, uh, and breath. And yeah, come December, I was like fully just on fire. I had my life back. I was, I was just had so much grateful to, so much gratitude just to be alive mm. because I really didn't know if I was, if I was like dying or what was happening to me because no one could tell me, you know, no one knew. Um, 
And so I was, I was just like, wow, the, why don't people know this? Why aren't five-year-old children in schools learning this? Yeah. Why are, why are we all learning how to use our breath? And so I spent, I had already spent a lot of time going into breath work when I was in New York, but when I went to California, I mean, it was to just a whole, a whole nother level of just self-discovery and many hundreds of hours, which turned into thousands of hours of, of, of silence and just moving with my breath and incorporating dance and different types of movement and yoga, um, with just breathing and different styles of breathing. And it really wasn't until, I don't know, maybe a couple of months, the two, three months, four months of being back in California of when I really just kind of came up with dimensional breath work, right. which was, which was really just, I asked myself this question, how can I show other people their true divinity? How can I show other people their true multidimensionality in that they're not this body? They're not their thoughts. They're not their mind. They're much bigger than that. They are the universe manifested in physical form. They are God manifested in physical form. Yeah. How can I how can I help guide people to this? And dimensional breathwork was what was birthed from that. So it was, it ended up being a starting with nasal breathing. So moving prana through the body, through our nose, which is how we're meant to be breathing. And what's prana for people who are not familiar with that? So, so prana is energy. Prana is chi. Prana is key. It's life force energy. It's, it's the universal energy that connects all life. Yeah. It's the energy in between my fingers. <laughs> it's the energy in between the leaves of a tree. It's, it's everywhere. And the reason why we see so much disease, dis-ease in the body throughout this entire planet and we see millions of people with dementia and Alzheimer's and cancer and type two diabetes, it's a lack of energy. It's a lack of prana. It's a lack of life force. 99% of disease, dis-ease starts at an energetic level, starts right. at energy <laughs> because we are energy. Everything is energy. 99.9% .9 of the universe is energy. So this medicine, This is the most organic form of medicine in existence. This is energy mm -hmm. medicine. Breath medicine is energy medicine. And this is something we've been using going back thousands of years, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years on this planet and off this planet because it's the foundation of all life. We exist because of prana, because of breath. And so when we tap into our breath, we take a step closer to God? Do we take a step closer to who we truly are? Because we're not the anxiety. We're not the overwhelm. We are not the guilt, the shame. When we tap into our breath, when we start to move this universal life force through our body, we, just, we get closer and closer to who we truly are, which is that place of calmness, that, that stillness, that peace. And that's our most steadfast state. That's who we truly are. Because at our core, we are a divine being. We are, we are love. Mm. And all the other things, the anxiety, the overwhelm, the, the, the guilt, the shame, the jealousy, right? We, when we tap into our breath, we continue to make this connection to our body, which is where all consciousness moves through. Yeah. So, you know, I really do believe that, especially through these times that we're in, which are truly unprecedented especially since we hit July. Um, we've never, we've never seen the world like this ever. Not any, not even in its existence, not even in millions of years of evolution. When we tap into our breath, we are making this connection with God. We are making this connection to our breath. We're making this connection to our truest self. So I, I really do believe that <laughs> there's never a more important time to start to play with your breath and start to experiment with your breath and what that means for you. And for every single person who's listening to this, that'll mean something totally different. And you'll find different styles. You'll find different modalities. You'll find different styles of breathing that resonates with you and your soul, your soul's blueprint. But uh, it doesn't really matter where you start. I, I really just recommend everyone just to start to breathe and start to set aside time every day 
when you start to feel uh, just anxiety, you're feeling the whole weight of the world, just to get out of your head and get in your body and get in with your breath and reach, touch closer to the in, our true infinite nature, which is consciously breathing. So, right. And, and I'm interested in terms of your evolution of, because it sounds, so there's the healing of your body, but it sounds like this went alongside some spiritual awakening or unfoldment here. Did, where did that come in the process? I'm thinking about you in that apartment in New York. Was it like started to hit you like in, but like bolts of lightning, these spiritual sort of realizations or where did that come in the process? Yeah, when I started doing breath work, it was very, very quickly within, I'd say the first, I mean, two weeks where I just started breathing every day. Then all of a sudden I was like, I would just got curious. What's happening to me? What is going on in my body? Why is it shaking? Why is it spinning in circles? Why is it spasming? Um, I, I was just curious. I, I really didn't know at the time. <laughs> You know, so I, I, the, the, and that's the most important part of spirituality, really, right? Is getting curious. Are the people who are evolving are the people who want to know the truth? Mm. People want to know how much we've been deceived, how much we've been lied to, how much corruption has taken place in the planet. Why the hell doesn't a four or five year old children learn about their breath? Why doesn't a four or five year old child learn? about growing food? Why doesn't a four or five year old child learn about connection to something bigger than themselves, right? These are all questions that we start to ask when we start to evolve, when we start to awaken to our higher self. Yeah. We start to awaken to something that, wow, I'm not just this body. It's way bigger than that. <laughs> There's way more souls on the pla- on this off this planet than just here. Right. And, and so I, I quickly started asking these questions and I, I mean, you're 100% right. <laughs> Breath work, moving this universal life force in my body awakened parts of myself that were completely dormant before that because this universal life force was awakening cells. It was purifying toxicity. It was cleansing years and years of hard drinking and drugs and and all my party when I was deeply unconscious and I and I did not know much damage I was doing to my body through wanting to escape, not yeah. knowing who I was. And that was how many of us, that's how many of the ancient souls on earth, many of us did escape how much pain we were going through because we didn't, it was a way to cope. We didn't know at the time, we didn't have the bandwidth or the awareness of how to deal with with all the emotions and all the trauma that we experienced in past lifetimes and as a child. So yeah, right. That was my way to cope was through constantly looking for fun, constantly looking for the next time to connect. But what was I really doing? I was actually disconnecting. Yeah. Real connection is connecting to the source creator, connecting to your breath, connecting to your body, connecting to right now, the present moment, yeah. where all possibility lies, all infinite possibility lies. And that's also why the breath is so powerful, because all infinite possibility lies in the present moment. And when we finally get still throughout our crazy day, we actually just sit down and breathe. We tap into that God source point of our infinite potential with our breath, with the now moment, mm. coming into the stillness. Yeah. And what I what I find fascinating is for all of your traveling, where did you find this in a in an apartment in New York, right? Being <laughs> <laughs> on your ass, uh, breathing, yeah. and, and and just letting it all come out. Yeah, I mean, I, the the people who follow my work have a idea of how much I travel. I mean, I've been to forty five countries. I spent years out of the U.S., like four years. But, gosh, I mean, the amount of the amount of hundreds of hours I spent on buses, trains, planes. I mean, I've stayed in over 400 hostels. I've seen so many magical towns and mountain ranges. And and yeah, it, it came in an, in, in an apartment in New York City amidst one of the most deeply heavy places on earth. 
and one of the most deeply disconnected places on earth. Um, you know, you could give that to Los Angeles, London, and New York of some of the most deeply disconnected places on the planet where just so much chaos mm -hmm. and people who are just so have no idea who they are because they don't have time. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, I, when I think about my own journey and I was in very intense work situations living in London, it, yeah, you, you, you need a certain space, you need an amount of space, right, to to allow whether it's the processing of the trauma or allowing for the spiritual opening it it's yeah, not something well, you can 100%. kind of schedule in to a busy day you well maybe some people it's possible but certainly for me i need this space when the central nervous system is in constant fight or flight and you're always just like i gotta get there i gotta get here gotta get home to cook my dinner and then that cycle just doesn't ever stop and then the only time on those two days on Saturday and Sunday, you are only just preparing for to just do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. at that time, you're still running errands. So, yeah, it's people don't even realize that they're actually a modern day slave. <laughs> yeah. 80% 80, 80 of our planet are actually just modern day slaves. It's, it's not, it, it is a form of slavery. No, we're, none of us are meant to be going to an office working four, five, six days a week. We're meant to be connected to nature. We're meant to be spending time with our family. We're meant to be teaching our children our morals and values and taking time to breathe with them and ask them what emotions they're feeling and teaching them about their body and teaching about the connection to the universe. This is what life's really meant to be. We've mm. just it just we've just been programmed to believe otherwise, truthfully. Right. Yeah. I I don't know if you've read the history on medieval peasants, but they had something like 147 days off a year, right? They were, yeah, they, they worked less uh, than, you know, most of us do today. Yeah, that that's 147 is more along the lines of what it should be, really, mm. of actually being able to have a work-life balance where sure, you give your gifts to the world, you give your offerings, but it's not at the cost of being in constant state of anxiety, disconnection, and anger, and frustration. You know, you're still, you're, and in, and in the earth that we are creating, in the world that we are going, no one, no one is going to be working a job that they dislike because that's the consciousness that we're going to be vibrating. At. That's what we're creating right now. And that's interesting. Right? You said something earlier about this month, like right? July, July 2023. What 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 do you see as special as as right now? Then what do you see is happening? Well, just going off what I feel in my body, um, and my body tells me a lot because I've spent a lot of time connecting to it. Uh, I've never felt the energies as as hectic and chaotic as they are in the month. Okay. We, are, we are going through entire different recalibration of all the energies of everything that's been switched, inverted, changed. Uh, I could go really deep down that rabbit hole, but let's keep it simple. <laughs> so um, basically, it's an, I mean, it's a monumental time for humanity. Um, this is where everything starts to return to its original essence. So anything that is not love, everything that is built on uh, inauthenticity, Anything that's built out of lie is is really starting to fall apart and crumble and collapse, and so uh, you know it's going to seem for people who are not awakened to their soul, their spirit, it's going to be very, very, very intense um, because everyone's illusion is going to be crashing down because of all the deceptions, the lies, and and so forth, and love, unity connection will reign on the planet once again and that's what's happening right now so this is we're like i've, I've said in a lot of my videos in the last couple of weeks we're at a real tower moment where it's just like it gets your kind of where a lot of people are asking geez could it get any darker where we're kind of at that moment right now so it's a it's really exciting times and i just want to encourage everyone to know that uh, what's happening right now is a tremendous blessing and it's a gift and we're finally rewriting everything <laughs> and it's returning to its original state, you know? So it's, it's truly incredible to be alive right now. But, but I mean, and, and I, 
I, I suppose where I really resonate with what you're saying is there is this sense of lots of people connecting and, you know, resonating around yes. these, these ideas and, and the love and, but, but to go back to our original state, hasn't there always been like this people who are in this groove, who are connecting into source and to love and so on. And there has always been those who are operating at a different level yeah, this is where I get curious about original state, like m- because my sense is we've always had this this dark and light. So, <laughs> again, I'm going to try to keep it really simple because I can go down to really deep rabbit holes. But in in essence, on on Earth and throughout the universe, we are always going through many many cycles of mm-hmm. evolution of change. We're always evolving. We're always changing, always. And there's so many people that are grasping on to the old systems. Don't don't let it change. And when that changes, they lose their mind because they're so attached to things not changing because change means that we have to change. And many people don't want to change. Many people don't want to evolve, Yeah, right? They want to stay stuck. They're attached to their old looping patterns of trauma, projecting their anger projecting their passive aggressive behavior onto their family members, their loved ones, their friends. And so right now in Indian cosmology, we are leaving the darkest of the yugas, the Kali Yuga, and we are entering the brightest of the yugas. We are entering the brightest of all the cycles, which is Sadhya Yuga. So everything is returning to love in this cycle. And we are going to see an existence We're going to see an existence that, for those of you listening to this episode, I mean, you can't even fathom it. Like you couldn't even, you couldn't even begin to daydream it in your wildest imagination of where we're going. It's going to be a multidimensional civilization. It's going to be a galactic civilization, um, full of, full of non-humans, full of beings from other planets, from other galaxies. For for some people listening to this, they might think, "Come on, that's that's ridiculous. That's crazy." Well, for me listening to this, I'm like, "Whoa, that's that's kind of out there. I, that's definitely beyond my imagination." Yeah, it, it, it's it's out there for people for sure. Um, I just I invite everyone to just stay open. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I'm just barely scratching the surface here, but. <laughs> But where where we're going is uh, is an existence that's truly like we it's 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 completely unwritten. We've never we've never seen it before. We've never experienced it. Everything that we're doing on Earth right now is for the first time. We've never evolved in this body from a very three D carbon based body with immense amounts of trauma, child trafficking, uh, and tons of gang violence drug trafficking all over the world, the list goes on and on and on and on Mm. (laughs) Um, to an existence where we don't die, where we don't lose the physical body and we evolve in this body to the dimension of consciousness that we're going to. So that's why breath is so important. And that's also why redox signaling molecules are so important because redox and breath are the foundation of life. They're the only reason why we exist in this physical body. They're the only reason why we exist in this physical avatar. And so both of these things have the power to reclaim our own power, not outside of ourself, but within. Right. Right. Okay. Well, you said two things. Redox signaling molecules. Okay. So what's redox and what's redox signaling molecule? So redox is reductant and oxidant. Okay. Redox signaling molecules are the communication of ourselves. They are the talking of ourselves. They're the only reason why you and I can have this conversation is because of redox. So okay. redox is what allows the cells to signal each other, to talk to each other. So after decades and decades of research, de- and, th- and thousands of scientists exploring this possibility of stabilizing redox, redox signaling molecules in a bottle form. I'd say 
I think it was somewhere in the in the nineties and in the early two thousands, they said this is impossible. You can't stabilize the signaling of the cells in a bottle form or in a dropper form. It's not possible. And in two thousand nine, ASEA, uh, which is a biotech company uh, which resides in Salt Lake City, Utah. They cracked the code. They figured out how to stabilize redox signaling molecules in bottle form. When they did this, it sent shockwaves of disbelief throughout the medical and the scientific community to those who were awakened at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to super 3D matrix doctors shelling out drugs. So when they did this, they were they couldn't believe that they actually done it because of what it meant for health and the health and wellness space of this planet. And so basically, again, redox signaling molecules is the foundation of life. It's the, it's, it's the elixir of life. Many, many across the world who are sharing it, like myself, uh, many thousands of people are calling it a uh, universal consciousness of the bottle or liquid light because it is light. This, this is where we're going. ASEA redox is where we're going. It is the future because someone could ask, Hey, Andrew, I have, um, I have this ailment. I have this ailment. I can't name any ailments because of where we are at in our at planet's evolution. But, um, I have this, I have this, I have the C word, <laughs> uh, can it help this? Yeah. And I always say, if you have a beating heart and if you have a pulse, this technology will work for you because ASEA is beyond minerals. Redox is beyond supplements. That's the old earth. The new earth where we're going is light. It's beyond, it's a, it's a whole other dimension of consciousness from minerals, nutrients, supplements. And I'm not going to say that stuff doesn't work. I love it. It's great. I love reishi mushroom. I love chaga. I love lion's mane. This is a whole different category of health and wellness. We've never seen anything like this before. And in 2010, ASEA was just getting their foot in. They were just getting in the door. So 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, still people are beginning to discover ASEA. And, and now we're reaching a point where this is getting out to a lot of people. I mean, and it's still known by only less than 1% or 2% of the planet. But within this within this decade, it'll be known by everyone on this planet, everyone, because of what it can do to someone's health, especially to someone who's being told by a, to someone in a white lab coat, "Hey, I'm so sorry, uh, your father has this ailment, and they have three months to live." How much ego do you have to have to tell someone that they know about their soul contracts and when they're going to leave this earth? Like really. So when someone finds a SIA and they are extremely deathly ill, again, it doesn't really matter how sick someone is. The results we see are just astonishing, truly. And, and, oh, well, I've got two questions on this, but I'll start with the first one. So the first one is then just, just talk to me a bit. So, so these signaling molecules, you know, how do they operate? in the body and then why is it such a breakthrough that we've managed to get them in a bottle outside of the body and then presumably we're now ingesting them back in yeah just talk me through a little bit through the mechanics of of how so this all works so the brief mechanics are right so NaCl sodium chloride so the base of redox is NaCl sodium chloride so some people will say if you've ever tried MMS some people will say it tastes like MMS as a bit of like a chlorine like taste so no, I've not taken that. That's the mineral magic. Uh, I can't remember that. Well, yeah. I can't remember exactly what it stands yeah. for. I've never taken yeah. it myself. The right, only reason right. I know it is because quite a few people who have come mm. in my emails, DMs mm. have referred to it. So I'm just referring to it for yeah. someone out there who's taken it because it seems quite a few people have. Um, this is a whole different category than MMS. This is a whole different category than any cell supplement out there. Because there is only there is only one company in the world and that will ever have redox signaling molecules, because redox is the universe. It is the only reason why plants, animals, humans, trees, a blade of grass exists. No life on Earth would exist within three seconds 
without redox signaling molecules. So if you tune into the frequency and you get out of your head, you move into your heart, into your body. No life on earth existed within three seconds without redox signaling molecules. So when you take redox signaling molecules, it's the only technology on earth that comes native from you. It comes native from me. It comes native from the human body. So when a human or an animal or a tree or a plant, when it ingests and takes in redox, there is a very universal consciousness frequency to it. So when I drink redox or when you drink redox, your body recognizes, oh, whoa, I recognize this because it doesn't come from outside of you. It comes mm. from within you, mm. if that makes sense. Well, it, 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 it's identical to something that's within you, right? Because, But it has been made outside in a bottle. Huh. So it has it, it was made outside from you, but they got the, the redox signaling molecules that come from you and stabilize them. If they got their redox signaling molecules and didn't stabilize them, wouldn't do anything. The reason why many say it's the biggest breakthrough that we're going to see in our lifetime is because they figured out how to stabilize the molecules. So ASEA does a filtration process with the water. They, they get the NACL in the bottle and the redox signaling molecules sit inside the bottle. So it's pretty simple. When someone starts drinking redox every day, it comes with a little clear cup. They start drinking it every morning and night or just every morning, depending on how much they're drinking. And as soon as the redox signaling molecules go in the body, immediately the body starts going to work. It increases the glutathione, which is the master, master antioxidant. It increases the glutathione by five to eight hundred percent. Anyone who's a biohacker or knows anything about health, when you hear those numbers, it's like, what? <laughs> and so basically, yeah, when when someone takes us in their body every day and it and it, it creates a snowball effect, it's it's an accumulative effect. It just inc and continues to cleanse, purify, and puts more prana, more life force, just like the breath does. Redox and breath are the same. There's no life without breath. There's no life without redox. They unite. They go hand in hand. When someone starts to put these redox in the body, it's putting life force energy back into the body. And like I said at the very beginning of our conversation, the reason why we have so much disease and we see millions of people leaving from various sorts of autoimmune disease is because of energy. It's a lack of prana through their food, through their lifestyle, through exercise, through their diet. And I would say number one would be through connecting to nature, through yeah. having our bare foot on the ground, bare feet on the ground, through regularly visiting lakes and rivers and getting all of Earth's negative ions and receiving that God Earth medicine. I mean, we truly underestimate the power of if you're feeling angry, if you had a, a, a really intense disagreement with your partner, Go, go drive out two hours out into the countryside or into the mountains and literally just lay on the earth and see how rejuvenated and recharged you feel. People truly underestimate this because we stay so up in our mind within all the chaos that we don't just go, I'm just going to, I'm just going to disconnect and actually connect, which yeah. is connecting to nature, connecting to our breath, connecting to the present moment. And so redox puts that prana, that energy back into the body. So if you were, if you're breathing every day, if you're connecting to nature every day, if you are putting SIA redox in your body every single day, people have no idea how good they can feel. They think, oh, Andrew, I'm spiritually connected. I don't need redox. You have no idea how much energy and prana life forces puts back into the body. It's it's um it, it's changed my life forever, and so uh, I as soon as it saved this this technology saved my dog's life, <laughs> and, and when I saw what it could do with what she had going on, I can't name it, but basically she had something in her brain, um and it's and and I watched this dog come back to life, 
after drinking it for four months. And after that, I made a vow to source creator. I'm going to share this with everyone. People right. need to know this exists because if people don't want to suffer with some health ailment, no one has to. That's how powerful this technology is. And so for yourself, so you, you're already doing breath work. You're, you're obviously, you've got a bunch of health practices going on and then you started using the ASEA. What, what was the difference for you before and after? Yeah. So for me, so I heard some, I started going into the stories and I'm like, holy, just some of these stories are unbelievable. Like they, they seem too good to be true. You know, like we're talking about people literally could barely even walk from the kitchen to their, to their couch. And then four months later, they're, they're not just walking on the beach. They're running on the beach at 70 years old. I mean, the, the story is like, you're, you're just like, wait, what did she, what did she say? <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're really mind blowing. So for me, I was, like you said, I was already very healthy. I was already very vibrant. Uh, but I did play sports my entire life, this whole life surfing, uh, golfing, playing basketball, baseball. It was very, very, very busy as uh, a young, a young kid. Uh, teen and into my 20s. I was always active, always playing sports, always staying busy. So I had lots of minor injuries. Um, so what I first noticed was my bowel movements went from once a day to three or four times a day. I was like, holy crap, that's incredible. After that, I started noticing lots, just lots of more energy, lots more clarity. My intuition started getting really on point um, because if you're pouring light into your body, it's increasing your energy. It's increasing your auric field that surrounds your body. We all have an arc, every single one of us. We all have an auric field that surrounds our body. That's where a disease begins, starts in the aura, manifests in the energetic body, and will eventually manifest in the physical body. And, and so many people will start to come online when they start drinking redox because it's universal life force. It's liquid prana. So as it starts cleansing and purifying the body, things will start to awaken. And I can't say all the other things uh, that ASEA does because Big Pharma still has a hold on some of this stuff. But there, let's just say this. There's a reason why Big Pharma tried to buy this for an insane amount of money. They wanted to shut it down immediately. Because they knew if this technology got out to humanity like it is right now, they'd be they'd be completely screwed for a lack of better words. And the owners refuse to sell. Yeah, the owners are in deep integrity. Isia said we're going to buy the company, but under one condition: we have to recall every single bottle of Isia that is out to anyone out there. And Isia said, "What are you talking about? We can't do that. That's that's there's people that need this." And the representatives for Big Pharma said, get over it. People die all the time. And Asiya said, kindly get out of our corporate office. <laughs> and so they had some security walk the Big Pharma representatives out. They did not sell. Um, and Virtus Norton and Tyler Norton, the CEOs, wanted to serve humanity. They wanted to get this product out to the world. So that's exactly what they did. Um and now it's in the hands of hundreds of thousands of families. I don't know what it. I don't know exact. Could be in the hands of millions of families. I'm not sure, but it's still in the hands of less than one or two percent of the of the world right now. And so, yeah, there will be a time within this decade where this will be out in the hands of hundreds of millions of families because what it can do is just it's phenomenal. It's 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 extraordinary. It's every everything that redox is is exactly the opposite of what we've been taught of what's hot possible with health of the wellness space. So for me, gave me loads more energy, a lot more clarity, deeper intuition. Uh, it it it, were, it did so much healing to my ankles, my joints, and any stiffness that I had. And I'd got two root canals on these two bottom teeth. Uh, these two teeth have been have been like pretty loose my entire the last decade of my life within the last six months they have completely tightened and i did not think that was possible i was like that's not going to happen for me like there's just no way I, I i've lived with it like that for so long and sure enough it happened and i was like 
this stuff is just next level, you know? I, and how long have you been just, taking it for? So there was a period where I took it at the beginning for a couple months. 2022, I kind of had another mini dark night of the soul and I had to stop taking it for a while. Everything kind of fell apart. <laughs> and then recently I've been taking it again for for the last like six months. So I've been taking it again for six months. I hated not taking it, but by the grace of God, everything came back together once again. In the last six months, I've been taking it consecutively. And like I said, it creates a snowball-like effect. So it just continues to do work on the body. It doesn't stop. It continues to give and recalibrate and cleanse and purify it, put everything back into balance and homeostasis that was out of balance before. So yeah, it's, it's one thing to hear the incredible things about what redox does. When you actually experience it in your body, then you have your own you have your own gnosis. You have your own experience of just like, wow, <laughs> I thought I felt good and I thought I was, you know, vibing high and I thought I had lots of energy. But yeah, this stuff just takes takes you to a whole new level, truly. And and for the skeptics out there, what's been done in terms of trials and, you know, so, so yeah. on, studies on this? Yeah. So for the skeptics out there, there's always going to be them. There's always going to be people listening to this that are like, oh, come on. Come on, man. Like, re- really? You know? And that's okay. Um, I fully accept and acknowledge the skepticism. Why? Because the truth is, is we've been lying to so much. So I invite you to be discerned. I invite you to be skeptical. And I invite you not to just trust me. I, I invite you to go on to PubMed where there is, are you ready for this? 60,000 articles on redox signaling molecules. 60,000. If you want to, if you want to go down rabbit holes of what redox is, <laughs> you could go down fifty-five, a hundred lifetimes of research if you want to do that. Um, but basically, in essence, you can spend a couple of days or even a couple of hours just watching some of the videos, listening to the people, listening to the science, uh, and listening to what people have to say. And and it takes doesn't take a long time to be like, okay, wow, so this is legit. This is the real deal. This is not just another supplement. This is not just another bottle of minerals. It's far, far, far beyond that. As I said before, this is a whole new category. We've never seen anything like this in what it can do because this is light. This is this is the this is the world that we are creating right now, Richard. <laughs> this is the the what we were where we were before was minerals, nutrients. Where we're going is redox because no life on earth exists without redox. It's the foundation of life. It's the elixir of life. And again, it's light. So for some people listening to this, they'll still be maybe confused and it still will click. But I promise you, if it clicks for you, that redox comes from you. It's the only technology on earth. No life on earth would exist. And when you drink it, your body recognizes it. And so it has a frequency that nothing else has if it clicks for you, you'll literally be like, holy crap, I need to get this to my mom. I need to get this to my dad. I need to get this for my kids. Um, you know, I need to get this to a child who's been injured by multiple jabs, you know, what, whatever, whatever it is. But um, yeah, all I, all I can tell you is that no matter what we see, again, the, res- the results are just at times hard to believe. I mean, the impact that it has on families' lives, you're just like, what? And so, yeah, once you once you see it in the capacity that I've seen it, you would feel deeply out of integrity to not let people know that it exists. And is, is there anybody it doesn't work for? No. By science, it's actually impossible for it to not work. And Dr. Gary Samuelson and the, uh, the team of ASEA scientists have proven this. And so if you want to find, if you want to find information like this, again, you can go to the, again, people might be skeptical of that statement. They might say, oh, come on, really? Truthfully, if you have a pulse, if you have a beating heart, this technology will work. And, and like I said, it will work for all humans and all animals. And, and again, that's why it's going to be known by everyone within this decade, because it's the future. It's the future now. 
And and is it expensive? I mean, because I did I, I I looked into this a little bit for the podcast, and I know and I know at the moment it doesn't ship to every country. For the UK, it was going to be like super expensive for me to buy it on Amazon. It was like it was like ninety pounds for like a bottle or something. It was you know su- super expensive. So let's talk about that. So every once in a while, someone will say, "Hey, Andrew, I just looked at a Sia. I really wanted to get it, but it was a little bit expensive." So let me break it down. Um, in the United States, there are people like my aunt, my own family member, who spent three hundred and fifty thousand U.S. dollars getting surgery after surgery after surgery after surgery. My my aunt suffered for the last twenty years of her life. The last twenty years of her life were miserable. She was in constant pain. She was constantly complaining. And she was always sick. She lit. She lived a lot of her life in a hospital bed. Uh, she never healed. So my aunt spent three hundred fifty thousand dollars on medical bills and surgery after surgery, having doctors cut her body open. People who again know nothing about health. If my aunt would have been introduced to Redox, she would have spent what twenty eight hundred dollars, and she wouldn't have just healed. She would have reversed her age by 15 to 25 years. So, and I, and if you want to know why that's possible, go and do the research. I can't flat out say it, but you can get, maybe get to the bottom of what I'm saying. ASEA goes beyond surface level. It's getting on into the cosmic origin of who we are. So when people say it's expensive, I say this. Complete baloney. Complete baloney. <laughs> for what a CIA, for what a redox can do, the price is incredible for what it can do. And so at $40 a bottle, and 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 uh there's four there's four bottles in a SIA at a case. So at 130 per case, the price is incredible for what it can do. So Right, the same person that says a C is expensive is the same person that says like, "Oh, I just bought an eight thousand dollar couch." <laughs> so they'll invest in an eight thousand dollar couch, but they wouldn't invest in a hundred thirty dollar case of a Sia that will literally change their life forever and continue to take it because it's refunding life force and energy and an entire new timeline of existence of who they are into their field of consciousness. So it, it all depends on what we value, right? What do we value? Yeah. What's important to us? Is material things important to us or is our health and our wellness and our consciousness and our spiritual evolution important to us and a priority to us? It all depends on where we put our energy and where we put our priorities. Um, what I find time and time again, and I can only say from the, the over 100 people I've got redox, is I've never had one person go, Hey, Andrew, I should have never bought Redox. Uh, it was a big mistake. Every person is like, holy holy crap, this has been life-changing for me and my family. And I, not, and I need to share this with everyone after knowing what it could do. So that's what I see time and time again. And um, for anyone who says this is expensive, and I need to say this, for anyone looking to buy a SIA, never, ever, ever purchase a SIA from Amazon or eBay. It's illegal <laughs> No one is supposed to be selling a SIA from Amazon or eBay. You're only supposed to get uh, a SIA from a SIA representative or a SIA ambassador like myself. Yeah, um, but I think for certain countries, you can't do that, right? Because well, certainly for the UK, it appeared on the site. You, you just can't do it. My only option no, was... So in the UK, you can get Redox. You can get a SIA. You can? Okay. I yes, you absolutely can. So in the UK, the UK is one of the 33 countries along with Spain... Uh, Sweden, Denmark, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, um, Italy. Let's see, uh, Norway. Yeah, bunch a bunch of list of other countries. But there's 33 countries right now where you can get a SIA. So I'm actually getting a SIA to quite a few people in Lebanon. Getting people a SIA <laughs> uh, in the UAE. Getting people a SIA who are in Turkey. Um, I've even got a woman a SIA who's in South Africa. So they they want a SIA so bad that they're having a relative ship it to Sydney 
or ship it to London and then they're shipping it to uh, right. Israel or Lebanon or wherever they live. Because yeah, I mean, again, there's nothing else like this technology. There's nothing else like this product. So if people have a family member that are really sick, you know, they're willing to go the extra mile to have them ship it and then them ship it to them. So yeah. Wow. I mean, I have to say that is one hell of a sales pitch. You know, it's like you, you, you've got such enthusiasm for it. And um, yeah, I, I, there's a part of me that's like, wow, 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 wow. This is far too good to be true. This is, you know, ridiculous. And then there's the other part of me, which I'm, you know, I always listen to and that's the, that hang on. Isn't this at least worth a try? Like, you know, some part of me is like, Let's get curious here and and, so, um, and give it a try. To everyone listening, there's never been one day where I've sold a SIA. I share a SIA because I have pure conviction and compassion for what it can do because mm. I've seen it. I've witnessed it with my own eyes and my own family. And I also seen it with the freaking endless amounts of DMs and emails I get from families that have said, hey, Andrew, you know, I was skeptical at first and I trusted you and this stuff is, this stuff is legit. It's the real deal. Um, and at, like just going off the email I received a couple of weeks ago, uh, from a woman, basically, if I can remember the email, I won't be able to remember word for word, but she said, Hey Andrew, I've been following your work for years. I deeply honor and respect the work that you do for humanity. And I want to let you know that I was a little bit triggered when you started sharing ASEA. I thought, you know, I was super skeptical. I thought it's too good to be true. Uh, he's exaggerating. Like, you know, I had and I had all these projections onto you. And after taking ASEA, I want to let you know that I completely say I'm sorry. And I take them all back because my family and I are re experiencing redox. And I totally get it. There's nothing like this, and the whole world needs to know that this exists. And so, for for me, it's for me sharing Asia. It's it's I love it. <laughs> it. It's changed my life, and I know it's going to change millions of, of families and lives out there because because for the truth is, so many people out there today will not believe Redox is that great because they're still stuck in their victim consciousness. They want to believe that something this good does not exist. So they'll, so they'll de deny it. They'll say, no, 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 no. That doesn't exist. Can't happen. There's no way someone in my family who has blah, blah, blah could heal from this. There's no way. And they will stay stuck in their victim consciousness without actually taking the time to not just trust me, but do the research. Spend the couple days to dive in. Okay, what what is going on here? Why is this so special? And feeling, not getting up in their mind, but feeling in their own body of why this is so life-changing. And I invite every person to do that. Don't just trust me. Listen to the science. Listen to the videos. Listen to people's stories. Listen to people literally cry about how they were going to lose their son, who was eight years old. And someone and a, and a friend introduced them to a SIA and it changed this family's life forever. Like these stories, you can't deny them. And if you deny them, I mean, God, you're just denying yourself. You're just denying your own power and the own power of the universe, truly. So, yeah, I, I invite you to be discerning. I invite you to be skeptical, but don't stay in your victim conscious to deny something so spectacular because I'm telling you, this redox molecules is going to be known by everyone. It's that it's that amazing. Brilliant. Wow. Um, well, thank you for sharing. And thank you for sharing. You've certainly got me intrigued. Uh, sounds like I was wrong. I was maybe on the wrong part of the website or whatever when I couldn't find it for the UK. I'll, I'll certainly have another look after this and see see if I can yeah. try some. And, and that's um, why you want to reach out to someone to make sure they, they you know, reach out to any ASEA representative. If you reach out yeah. to me, yeah, well, I have no issue with getting you all the information and sending you we'll, in the right direction. So, yeah, and we'll definitely do that in the show notes. We'll. We'll put your link out. I know you've got your own sort of mini site on the ASEA site, right? So um, where people can contact you. Uh, if this resonates and they want to dive in and and try it, right? 
Yeah, that's the way absolutely. to do it. I mean, that's what's interesting about this drug, right? What's the, what's the you know you make that initial investment, you try it, that's it. Yeah, I invite you. Yeah, I have everyone experience the redox for ninety days because according to the studies, more than ninety percent of people will see tangible to, I mean, drastic changes to their health within that time period. So yeah, I just invite you to have your own experience with it and and, and feel it in your own body. That, that's the only way you're going to know, right? Like people can be like, oh yeah, breathwork's really powerful. I, I, I've heard it's great, but you don't know unless you actually experience your own breath. You don't mm. know unless you actually have your own gnosis, your own feeling, your own sensations of what the breath feels like in your own body. Yeah, awesome. And talking of breathwork, you also offer breathwork sessions on your site, the, the dimensional uh, breathwork, right? You you offer one-to-ones. So I used to offer one-on-one sessions. Ah, I'm okay. just doing occasional group sessions. And um, yeah, I'd have been guided by, <laughs> I've been guided by my team to completely redirect my energy and that's getting redox out into the world. Uh, apparently this is very, very, very important and like I said, redox is light. So it's putting more light into the planet, which is diminishing all the darkness and all the corruption, all the lies of the planet. So um, it's more important than I could really begin to articulate words. <laughs> and you'll either feel it or you won't, whether it resonates or not, it's okay. But but yeah, take my word for it. You will see a see it everywhere within the next 10 years. That's interesting, and and uh, that's interesting. So you 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 kind of dialed right back on the breathwork now, and you see this. Yeah, is... I, I had no idea I was going to be led into redox in this capacity. I had no idea, um, but I am, and I'm doing it, and I love it, and I wake up excited every day, and um, yeah, it's been an amazing journey so far, and yeah, I guess what's I guess the last closing thing I'd like to say to everyone is, um, gosh. We're at an incredible time in, in our planet's ascension. We're at an incredible time in our planet's evolution. The months ahead and the years ahead are definitely going to be a lot. <laughs> there, it's going to be an entire reversing and switching of all the systems. Everything we ever known that was comfortable, we're going to have to get uncomfortable. But 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 just trust. Trust the process. Know, know that everything's unfolding just as it's meant to. And go to your breath. The redox can be an amazing support to your spiritual evolution. And I would put breath at number one, uh, redox number two, because redox is light and breath is light. <laughs> so those two things combined is just such an amazing support to where we're going and how much we're evolving. Every single day we're changing. So yeah, I just want to invite everyone to surrender and know that we're in an amazing place. And um, we're, we're, you're not alone. You're, none of us are alone. We're all doing this together. No matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And there's so much community and there's so many amazing people out there that you can reach out to for help and assistance and guidance. And also important to be very discerning on who you work with and who you give your energy to also. So I also want to plant that seed. But um, yeah, just want to thank everyone for tuning into this conversation and being present for everything. And, you know, um, yeah, I hope everything landed. And if not, I invite you to do your own research and feel it in your own body and, you know, come up with your own, your own judgments and your, and what you feel, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I love the last thing you said there. That's kind of my credo for life, right? Like be open. If something resonates, try it for yourself in your own body and your own experience 100%. and let yourself be the author of your own health. Awesome. Well, Andrew, thank you so much. You've been a powerhouse full of this bright energy. It's been fabulous to be in your presence uh, Yeah, for the last hour or so. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on, Richard. It was an uh, absolute pleasure. Thank you.